Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are now day four of our 30 days challenge. Uh, today's uh, course, uh, we are going to make a media soup um, server, continue from yesterday. We've uh, set up a WebSocket server already, so today we're going to do uh, set up the config file for media soup and create our worker and we'll start it up and see if it, uh, everything goes normal. Okay, that's our today's job. And by the way, my name is Jason. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And I mainly do um, web RTC uh, tutorials and maybe some uh, GoLang and JavaScript stuff as well. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to me and uh, join this 30 days challenge. All right, enough talking. Uh, let's get started. So what we're going to do firstly is open up our project we left uh, from yesterday. Uh, which is this here? Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our um, media soup um, uh, package. All right, so we want media soup. Okay, let's add that with yarn. Uh, this is going to take a while. Okay, I will pause the video and we'll come back when this is done. Okay, it looks like we're all done. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add that debug thing back onto our um, starting script if you remember that. So we can see, you know, um, all the debug media soup does uh, give us out of the box, I should say, and we so we can keep an eye on what's going on. Okay, so it's basically debug equals media soup uh, colon and star. Okay, that means any anything. All right, and then next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and create a um, config file. Okay, we'll just create it here. Let's do config ts. Okay, and let's import. Um, uh, and put the OS okay so this is basically for um, it's a uh, node.js uh, package so we can check how many CPUs or how many fruits we, we got uh, our CPU is running or oh, not not fruits uh, how many core okay we're running um, we will need this in a second okay and then we go export cons uh, config okay we will this is for um, when we start our worker we it's like a configuration file for media soup okay I'll explain it to you um, one by one okay the first one is listen IP listen IP okay uh, we'll use zeros okay so we make sure we can get into it like hit it and then listen Listen port, okay, port number 3016. Okay, uh, we won't bother with uh, SSL, okay, for this purpose, okay, uh, we will do that in a um, uh, and probably in a future tutorial, but not this one. We're not going to bother with uh, SSL because we're only going to test it locally, okay. And the next um, object we need to make is the media soup, the actual media soup object. And what we're going to do here is num uh, workers okay uh, which is the workers and the object dot keys and now we're going to get use of our OS um, package uh, library we just um, import it and this is basically we're checking the CPU length okay how many coils we got running on our server or our computer okay that's what that is uh, how many workers we're running okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to define the worker oops i think it's cap no it's not capital worker we we, don't, we won't get any com uh, order complete for this because simply uh, this is a configuration um, file okay you can see uh, you can check all this out uh, in the media soup uh, website okay it, it has everything okay i, I just correct this uh, the typo up there Okay, the worker we want RTC mini min, minimum port. <clears throat> okay, we'll start with ten thousand, uh, and the second one is RTC max port minimum max. So it's the range. Okay, we want, and this is important. Okay, because if you run on the, the production um, server, you have to make sure these ports are open. Otherwise. It will not work okay um i'm going one by one okay I, I, i'm assuming you don't know anything about media soup okay um for those who know know it okay just ignore me okay but i just want to make sure everybody understand 
what I'm typing in. Okay, I think it's quite important if we configure it correctly. Uh, means you know we will have a better time when we do the development. Okay, and the log level. Okay, we just want warnings. Okay, we won't. We should do debug, but yeah, let's do debug. Why not? Okay, these options. Okay, warnings or only will print out the warnings. It will not print out. Uh, anything else but debug it will print everything else okay what's going on with media sweep okay and the next one is log tags uh, and the first one we want info okay I'm, I'm just got got to copy and paste these okay I, I don't want you to watch me typing all this because this is going to take ages okay so basically we we want these logs okay because these are the important logs we want to see DTLS and you know the SRTP we just want to see these logs okay that's what we want to see okay and now we're going to type this as worker log tag okay we need to import this which uh, VS Code will do that automatically for us okay so we're done on this um, workers or worker okay the next one we need to configure is routes router okay because router is one of the uh, important thing in um, media soup okay let's go router and we want the media uh, codex okay and we config codex and this has to be an array okay we put in an array and now we're basically defining the what kind of co codex we want to use okay I'm gonna type it in and I'll you probably know after typing it in okay kind and type Okay, see now oh, we don't. The auto completion is not right. Mean type with the capital T. Mean type is audio. Sorry, I mixed it up. Let's do the audio first. Okay, audio <coughs> slash opus. Okay, that's what I'm going to use because most browser or most computers have this codec clock rate and we'll use the standard for 80 for 48,000 I mean and channels two okay because we want it in stereo okay that's our audio and now we do our video now kind video e type video and we're going to use vp8 okay vp8 it's the, it's a common one as well uh, you can use other ones but uh, please read the documentation because that that could break things okay clock rate uh, we want it to be 90,000 it's a reasonable uh, resolution okay params we want parameters uh, we want this tag in there okay this is uh, as per media soup um, box okay start bit rate that's basically uh, yeah start bit rate at 1000 okay let's see where we are okay don't, uh, let's not confuse where we are because these we, we, we've got too many curly braces we make sure we choose the right one okay I'll put a comma there just looks better and we're gonna type this as RT, RTP uh, codex capability okay and that will auto complete as well and it's array cool we almost there i think on a config not quite but almost let me comment this as well this is web rtc transport settings okay i'll explain all this uh, later on again okay rtc web rtc transport this is equivalent to like when you do plain WebRTC. Uh, this is the PC, okay? That's what we, uh, what this is, the transport. Um, it's basically, it's a PC, okay? And we need to do a listen. If I can spell, IPs. That's where, what port the server is listening to. I mean the IP, all right? So we're gonna define it as zeros, okay? Because that means we accept connection from anywhere. Why is that a red line? Oh, sorry. Uh, we need that has to be an object. Okay, it's pretty confusing already, isn't it? <laughs> but once you understand it, it's actually not that bad. 
because when I first looked at it, I got, you know, I thought it was, ooh, what's this, you know? But once you get into it, uh, you kind of like it, you can't help it because the way it's written, uh, it takes more time to set up, but uh, it ain't, once you got it up and running, it's unlikely to give you any other issues. Okay, this one, uh, it's a public IP. So if you, if you um, stick this on your live server, change this address to your public IP. Okay, that's what that is. Okay, and then this one, we have to type this as uh, transport uh, listen IP, I think it is. Listen IP and it's an array, okay. And then we put, we're we done, okay. Uh, and we're gonna type this whole thing, okay, as cons. Okay, we're done on the, on the config. Okay, uh, this is our config all done. Okay, next we're going to make a worker. Okay, this is where how we start up MediaSoup. Okay, we'll put it in the library folder. Okay, that's where we're going to put everything. Okay, uh, I I think uh, it's quite important. You know how you organize your files. Uh, just it looks a lot better. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so firstly we need to import MediaSoup. Anything as MediaSoup. From media soup okay and we need to uh, we'll input the types later okay as we need it okay we'll input our config though the config we just done from dot 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 config okay the two thing oh, we, we just need to bring in our config okay okay we'll have to do some uh, what do you call it uh, it's kind of kind of Types okay, comms worker, oops, array, and we type we're going to type this okay, and this is equals an array. <coughs> okay, the first one we need is worker and worker. Okay, we need to bring that in from media soup worker. Don't know why the autocomplete didn't work. Okay, let's do that ourselves there. Eh? From uh, media soup library types, okay, and we want the worker. We'll bring in the router as well, okay, because we need that as well. The worker is worker, and router is router, okay. Basically, this is our worker. We've got the worker and the router. It's an array, okay. And then we're gonna go ne let. Mix. We're going to make a variable here. Media soup worker index equals zero. I'll tell you why we do this in a second. Okay, when we get to it, it's kind of hard, hard to explain to you right now what this is for. Okay, bear with me. We're going to create a worker. It's an async um, function. Okay, let's see. Okay, sorry, this is, should be create worker. Okay, this is a function. That's what, what we're going to call from our main um, function. Okay, and now we're going to do a another one called worker. Sorry, I, I missed one. <laughs> Await. Okay, media soup. Now we start using the library create worker. Okay, lock level. Basically, what we're doing here is we putting the we're configuring um, the worker with our config file, okay? Media soup, okay, this is from here, okay? Uh, where is it? Media soup, what's this one? Worker, okay, the first one is worker. Uh, lock level, okay? So we, we're pulling, we're setting this, configuring this worker with the lock level um, from our config file, okay? That's what we're doing. Uh, where is lock level? Media soup, okay? Hold on, let's just try to figure out log level, okay? Let's try to show you where it is. Okay, right here, okay? So that's the back. That's the reason why we created this, so we don't, you know, so we are organized. Okay, that's the reason. Let's go back to it. Okay, the next one we need to do is log tag, tags, okay? See, we're using TypeScript, so we get the autocomplete. So we get into our config again. Under the media soup worker, <coughs> and we need to put in the log tag okay 
that's why I choose to use TypeScript because imagine using JavaScript uh, try to get all this right uh, it's you can but it's quite difficult okay minimum port once again okay we're pulling that out of our um, worker dot min port okay and the next one RTC max RTC max port okay config dot media soup dot worker dot RTC max port okay we're done okay on that one okay one more thing uh, we're going to do uh, before we shut this off uh, is we need to export the function we just wrote okay it would be create worker okay and done and now we will go to our uh, WS folder and we we will start up media soup from here okay you could put it you know somewhere in the main but I think it's more tidy like this so basically the flow is we start the WebSocket okay we start up our media soup then we start listening um, our WebSocket server okay that's the flow I think um, works best but you can uh, other places if you like okay let's do a try catch here okay so media soup router we'll call this media suit router uh, okay before we do that I think we need to put a variable up here somewhere let media soup router the reason we do that because our purpose is we be able to access this router throughout our program that's why I put the let outside of the loop if you write a pop, you know, like a, a proper working um, project, uh, you probably wouldn't wa don't want to do that. Okay, it's not a good practice to do that. You probably want to put it in, um, uh, I don't know, some state or something. But um, for our purpose, we we we're just gonna do this. Okay, uh, wait uh, because it's async um, function. Okay, we go create. Oops, sorry. Create um, worker. Okay, and that will auto complete our thing okay uh, auto completed our function we just wrote so no we don't want that we want our one not the media suit version <laughs> so the auto complete is not 100% right okay you better double check when it does that for you okay so we want to import our version of um, of the create worker okay worker okay. and create worker and then uh, if there's an error okay we want to throw an error we, want, we don't want to go any further because I mean um, we should stop the server if the media suit doesn't kick up okay error and guess what we're done okay we're done for today uh, because I don't want to drag on it's like it's almost 20 minutes um, we are going to do the uh, for tomorrow and the next day uh, maybe tomorrow we will finish the server off uh, we will create the consumer okay which is the pub and sub consumer and also we're going to create the RTC transport as well tomorrow okay so let's before we go off okay well, let's check this see if it starts up okay that's our most important thing okay if this worked so we just go yarn dev and no it doesn't work so let's see what we've done wrong here it's in the config file let's check that line 42 okay take that out <laughs> the extra columns eh and 51 take that out okay clear that yeah I'm deaf. here we go we see media soup has started okay that's all the logs we get okay from that see um it's starting media soup worker version number and uh, CPU detected a little in Indian CPU I don't know what that is 64 bit you know that's what that OS CPU um, thing gives us and also the log tag uh, minimum port and maximum port and open SSL you know everything's all you know all locked so when you see this that means media soup is up and running all right um thank you very much uh, I think um, this will do it for this one and thank you very much for being part of it so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe there's many more coming um in the next uh, 20 odd days okay and even finish this um challenge there will be many more this type of tutorials all right and if you consider support me please click my patreon um, link and be a supporter 
All right, thanks very much, and we'll see you tomorrow.